From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your evening update. Daniels Roofing, licensed, bonded, insured roofing contractor. 45 years of generational expertise, offering a variety of roofing systems in the North State. Composition shingles, metal, tile, fire safe wood shingles, and spray foam roofing systems. An energy saving cool roof, perfect for commercial flat roofs and mobile homes. With other companies, you may get a foreman or a salesman, but with Daniels Roofing, you get Daniel. Call today for your free estimate. Daniels Roofing, three generations working hard to protect your home and business. Well, good evening, everyone. I'm Chief Meteorologist Mike Kruger from Weather NorCal. Thank you so much for joining me here this evening. Let's take a look at some of those rainfall totals we saw the last 24 hours. Depends on where you are. I mean, it felt like it rained all day for some of us, like Weaverville, Hayfork, even Redding. It was just kind of that steady light rain through the day, giving about three tenths of an inch rainfall out at the Reading Airport, maybe a bit more than that off to the uh, north and west parts of town here. But you head to the south, mostly less than a tenth of an inch of rainfall, and really, quite honestly, a whole lot of nothing off towards the north and east. There was a trace here and there, a few hundreds here and there from Modoc County, even Lassen County, but really didn't amount to much. But then you have to Crescent City over an inch, over a third of an inch out towards uh, Eureka, Hoopa, almost a half an inch there. So. It was one of those hit or miss type of situations, wasn't it? I mean, some of us got to see a really good amount of rainfall, others, not so much. All right, so we're gonna take a look at Kruger's quick cast. And the whole idea behind this is for those of you that really don't wanna spend a whole lot of time looking at the forecast, just a few minutes, that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna start with taking a look at what we expect here for the rest of the night tonight. Scattered showers, maybe even a few thunderstorms along the coast. And then scattered showers really across the board, still cool, temperatures in the low to mid 40s for the valley. We're talking 30s, 20s and 30s for the higher elevations uh, for tonight. And of course, taking into early tomorrow morning as well. Let's get you out the door tomorrow morning. And it looks like really some of us, if not a lot of us are gonna be dry. So what we've got here is just a chance for some scattered showers, from places of the coast, especially in Siskiyou County, even the Eastern Mountains. But the valley, really not seeing a lot of rainfall here for tomorrow morning. We'll get into that here in a second in future cast. You can see the area of low pressure right here, the cold and unstable air. Look at this too. This looks pretty impressive, doesn't it? But it's really not even producing a lot of rainfall. And it is a little bit of moisture that we are tapping into. That's why we are seeing some of those showers. Of course, that cold and unstable air is really the reasoning behind that. So we look at future cast. Here we are this evening, right? We're seeing some of those showers, snow in the higher elevations. Snow levels on average between four and 5,000 feet. May get a little bit lower tonight. You can see by midnight tonight, we can see some snow flurries. It could be impacting a little bit on I-5. But midnight tonight, and as we go into the early morning hours tomorrow, look at the valley. It's fairly dry. Here's a band of maybe some heavier snowfall. This could, of course, impact between four and 5,000 feet and maybe even impacting I-5 for a brief period of time in the early to mid-morning hours. But by, by the noon hour tomorrow, most of it's off to the east. We're dry in the valley. We're dry to the west of that. And then by the time we get into tonight, excuse me, tomorrow night, it's all gone. And the dry weather pattern I've been talking about, it's going to be here and it's going to stick around for a while. All right, so for tomorrow, temperatures are going to be in the mid-50s for the valley, mainly in the 30s and 40s for the higher elevations. And really, it's going to be morning that we see the best chance for showers for the valley westward, even into Siskiyou County. But really, for the afternoon, there still may be a few stray snow flurries off to the east here for tomorrow afternoon. But really, overall, it's not going to be quite like it was today. So looking at your seven-day outlook for the valley, again, just a slight chance for some of those morning showers, otherwise dry through most of the day. And then it's dry and getting warmer too. Low 60s by the time we get to the end of the week, this upcoming weekend. For the coast, inland, and for Trinity County, still that chance for some morning showers dry by completely by Wednesday and beginning to warm up too by the end of the week and this upcoming weekend. For Siskiyou, Modoc, and the Eastern Mountains, also looking at dry conditions, probably closer to the late afternoon, early evening, and then we're completely dry on Wednesday, warming up and drying out for the rest of the week and into the weekend. All right, for those of you that need to travel, well, here's what it looks like for your Tuesday if you're heading southward. We do have the overcast skies, we are seeing some rain out there, but temperatures mainly in the 50s and 60s. For Wednesday, the clouds may begin to kind of part a little bit here. You can see a few more clouds down to the south. You saw that on the satellite image, all those clouds coming into the Bay Area southward. That's what's in store for us for Tuesday and Wednesday to the south. Now to the north, 
it looks like it's obviously going to be cooler. There could be some patchy fog in some areas here for Tuesday. There you can see Boise about 43, Pendleton about 34. And if you're heading out to uh, Missoula, how about 40? Daytime high of 34 degrees in Idaho Falls. We take you, take you to Wednesday. And again, some patchy fog out there. It actually warms up a little bit here, although Idaho Falls only high about 28. So you kind of get the idea. Really overall though, not much in the way of rain. Now, if you are traveling across the nation, what are those winter storm impacts here for tomorrow? Well, there may be some impacts out in the, uh, out of the Denver airport. There might be some impacts out in Utah as well. But overall, I mean, you look at the nation, not that bad if you are traveling by plane. Wednesday, looks like the impacts will be limited really across the nation. So we don't have to worry too much about that snow if you're traveling by airplane. All right. All right let's go ahead and take a look at our weather headlines as we kind of take a look at our local forecast now, right? Cool, unsettled to start the week. That's what we've been dealing with here. That's what we'll probably deal with at least for the first half of the day tomorrow. Now, there will be travel delays on some of the higher mountain passes tonight and tomorrow, especially east of I-5. Keep an eye on I-5, though, tonight and early tomorrow morning. There may be some snow there, especially around, say, just north of Mount Shasta City as you start getting into weed, uh, places like that to the north. But overall, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Right? And then I do expect drier and warmer weather by the middle of the week, and especially by the end of the week. And this drier and warmer trend will most likely stick around not only through this weekend, but most likely even now it looks like even all the way through next week as well. So let's talk about this moisture that's coming in. That's the overcast skies you are seeing down into Southern California here for tomorrow. This area of low pressure right here is responsible for the cool and unsettled weather we're seeing. And of course, those overcast skies with those, some of those clouds coming in from the west. So again, we'll take a look at future casts here. You can see as we go into midnight tonight, some of the showers that we could see even for the valley. And then going into your morning hour, 6 a.m., not a lot of activity for the valley, really. And there's that snow in the mountains, as I mentioned. Keep an eye on I-5 because, yeah, there may be some issues late tonight, early tomorrow morning. But by the noon hour, most of it's out of here, except for maybe a few snow flurries off to the east that may continue into the afternoon for Modoc, Lassen, and even Plumas counties. But otherwise, it's dry. And then it's dry by tomorrow night, dry all day Wednesday into Wednesday night, and going into Thursday as well for your Thanksgiving day. So how much rain can we expect to see here through, of course, at least tomorrow afternoon? Well, we could pick up another few hundred, so maybe a quarter of an inch of rainfall or close to it in the Redding area. That's from now until 5 p.m. on Tuesday. And you can see those uh, a little bit more to, for places off to the east and not that much out along the coast here. Most of it will be in the morning. So you can see here there is a winter storm warning for central, south central Siskiyou County until 4 a.m. tomorrow. And that's for mainly elevations above 5,000 feet. So that's that travel I was talking about, I-5. You have to watch that. Could be close. Until 4 a.m. on Wednesday for the mountains east of the valley. Until 4 p.m. Tuesday for Lassen County and eastern Plumas County. A lot of interesting times here. I don't think that all the National Weather Service offices are in complete alignment here because this is coming in from Medford. This is coming in from Reno and Sacramento. And I would say that this is probably too long of, an, of a period. I would say probably until 4 p.m. as well for the eastern mountains, as we'll be looking at most likely that snow wrapping up by tomorrow afternoon. How much snow can we expect? Well, not a lot. You have to go up into some of the higher elevations and maybe get that foot of snow. Uh, two to four inches possibly around Alturas, a little less than that for Chester and uh, maybe a trace out towards Mount Shasta. If you can get it to even accumulate, I think Mount Shasta may be just a little too low in elevation for us to really see that accumulating snow out there. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the ski park. Uh, and we're not going to see much more on top of what we saw today. I mean, you're talking maybe a couple inches, to maybe two to four inches of, of snow. Not a lot, but hey, we've got a pretty good base out there right now. Take a look at future cast. It's dry. There's a ridge of high pressure right here. That's going to be the dominant feature through the weekend, through this upcoming week, through even early next week. All these storm systems just riding up to our north and we remain dry. As a result, the Climate Prediction Center is putting us in the drier than normal category. It's putting us in the warmer than normal category as well. We take a look at that 10-day trend. It's getting warmer. By the end of the week, we're low 60s. Now it's not going to get hot by any stretch of the imagination, right? But we're going to be maybe above normal or right around or just above normal here as we go into the beginning of next week. And toward the end of next week, a few degrees above normal. So we'll take it. Not too bad. 
you can see your wave heights are actually decreasing through the day on Tuesday. And then through the day on Wednesday, they may increase a little bit again. So your marine forecast for your Tuesday, south winds at five knots, waves from the southwest at two feet at four seconds, and from the west at five feet at about nine seconds. There could be, of course, that chance for showers, especially in the morning by the afternoon, those chances do diminish. All right, so for tonight, you saw the temperatures a little bit earlier, mid 40s on average for the valley, give or take, uh, mainly 30s for the higher elevations, and looks like in those low 40s, maybe a stray shower or thunderstorm out along the coast. So your Trinity County neighborhood forecast, so again, just that chance for a few morning showers, otherwise dry for the next seven days. Temperatures upper 40s to low 50s for your daytime highs. For the North Coast, 54 in Eureka. Morning showers drying up by really before noon and then dry for the afternoon tomorrow. Same situation up north with Orleans about 54. 54 for Gas Key and there you can see 54 in Willow Creek. Your Siskiyou County neighborhood forecast also morning showers. It may last into the midday hours, but by the afternoon, most of you will be dry in Siskiyou County. Monaco County could last through the afternoon with a few stray snow flurries. Otherwise, temperatures upper 30s to around 40. Your Eastern Mountains neighborhood forecast, also some lingering snow flurries through the afternoon, but nothing intense. Uh, temperatures in the low to some mid 40s, although Viola, one of the cooler spots with the high of only about 36. Your Valley neighborhood forecast brought to you by Walgamoth Painting. You've got your temperatures in the mid 50s for your daytime highs. There's some of the chances for those morning showers, but fairly dry through the day tomorrow. There's a look at to the north, about 51 degrees for Whiskey Town and Lakehead, 56 for Palisadro and Cottonwood, about 55. Let's take a look at your seven day outlook for Reading. And we've got those uh, temperatures increasing slowly, upper 50s by Wednesday and Thanksgiving Day. Low 60s by Friday, Saturday, keeping the low 60s for Sunday and Monday. That's your evening update. I'll be, of course, have a good night, and we'll see you tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. and live on Cawthor Kruger at 7 a.m. Have a good night. Barr & Mudford is a top established firm here in the North State. Founded over a half century ago, Barr & Mudford is protecting the rights of our neighbors and community. We take our commitment to our clients very seriously and provide a level of excellence unrivaled in the North State. Barr & Mudford, standing up for the rights of our neighbors and our beautiful community, serving Northern California with excellence.